So here we go, rolling up Norton Summit as you do and see a bunch of women's world tour riders, which is pretty sick. So we've got Michelton Scott Head, two wiggle high fives. I think we got a holding gusto rider as well. Um, so we, I was just doing Norton's TT, then we rolled down with Tori and Louis, who's to the right of me. And then we're going to do some tempo efforts up this. So I was just like, thought I might as well sit behind you for a bit, just to try and get some footage for you guys um, and just show... So the tempo, I wasn't really sure what numbers we'd be doing. I knew we wouldn't be going like dawdling, but I also probably thought we won't be going full gas either. Um, so you can see at the moment we're doing like 230, 240 on the steeper parts and um, like it's pretty comfortable to be honest. Some of, the, some of these people look like they're struggling a bit. Others look pretty relaxed. The one on the right looks pretty chilled out. Um, the Mission Scott one looks like he's pulling in a little bit of effort. The other one's out of the saddle the head. I think that might be a bloke. I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, I don't really have a look at the person, he just looks quite big. Uh, and then on the right, that's an Edmondson, I believe, who rides for Wheel High Five. He's had a decent summer, won a stage in the Tour Down Under, which is pretty good. Um, but you can see, you know, it's pretty chilled out. Uh, just interesting watching the cadence. The cadence is generally pretty high, very nice pedaling technique uh, from the rider ahead. Uh, I'm not exactly who she, who she is, but she, I'm, I guess she rides with Michigan Scott because she's got the whole bike and kit outfit. Um, but you can see they definitely have a very nice pedaling technique. Um, they really like accentuate the pulling back in the mud, um, which ne isn't necessarily the most efficient way of doing it. But you can see maybe they're not applying that much force, but you can really see that like they're doing that, um, which is pretty interesting. What bikes are they running? Uh, so the person ahead is running a Scott foil with the brakes under the seat stays. Um, sh full Shimano Durace, I believe. I think she might be running a slightly older SRM power meter. I don't think the women's teams. Uh, the women's team for Michigan Scott is on the newest Shimano power meter. Uh, and the Edmondson was running at a Colnago C60, I believe. Uh, will she be up to going for the C64? I, I'm not 100% sure, as the new C64 has just come out. Pretty insane bike. The C60 is something I really enjoy. Um, and then you can see, you can see like the, she's got a pretty nice cask helmet. Uh, I think the Michigan Scott just riding the, the Cadence uh, helmet from Scott. Uh, I think uh, Annette Emerson will be running EPS, um, Campagnol EPS, super record potentially, or maybe just record, I'm not 100% sure. So the rider head's got a saddlebag, I think it's the same one as me, uh, potentially the toe beak one, um, which is pretty pretty cool, pretty nice to see. Um, so you can see they're all having a nice little a nice little chat, just chilling up the climb. Like, we're not we're not noodling around um, at all. Like, we're, get, we're, get, we're doing well. Um, I think the efforts I was going to do is about 250 to 270, so I know I had to get past, but um, at the beginning I was like, oh, maybe maybe this might be actually just be a tempo effort the whole way up, but I think maybe people got a bit excited, saw the, saw the greens, because at the beginning the gradients do get up to like 7, 8%, people are like, wow, this is pretty steep, because uh, obviously the rest of Norton's is like 5% or less, so you can see we're passing everyone, people often look um, a bit kind of surprised when women, women's riders pass them, um, not even just like pros, but even just like amateurs, um, to women because that a lot of the vegan women are a lot faster than everyone else. Um, so I like was doing TT today, for instance, with Nicole, and like when you're passing people, some people look like sort of take a double double take or like get really sort of I don't know their pride seems to hurt a little bit and they try and like hold on the back or like try and ride really fast to try and like keep up. It's like well, mate, it's all right, don't worry. Um, I guess maybe I I probably be the same, but I'm I'm the same with everyone. Like if anyone rides past me and it's like and I'm just cruising or like going hard, I'm like. Uh, if I'm just cruising and like think I want a bit of a battle, then I'll, I'll hop on someone's wheel because um, I'm quite competitive like that. But I don't know, it's quite funny watching people's reactions. It's just an interesting. Um, so you can see on the right, we've got, got a rear light, pretty safety conscious. It's a pretty cloudy day, to be honest, mate. Pretty cloudy indeed. Not, not, um, not the nicest of days. It was really muggy and like didn't really feel like very fast, fast times. Um, so you can see here, everyone is. Um, Everyone looks pretty relaxed. Everyone's on the tops, really, or the hoods. No one's in super hard position because we're just going chill. You can see the rider ahead of us. The legs are relatively big, but her arms are, are actually very, very small indeed. The rider on the right, I don't think she's a pro rider, and you can see her arms are slightly big. I think that's one thing with the pros, like even the women and the men's, their arms just are really, really skinny. Their legs obviously are lean, and but some like some uh, good amateurs, they have very lean legs as well, but I think it's the arms where really... Pros just don't seem to have any any sort of fat or muscle on them at all because I guess they just when you do so many kilometers and just don't use your arms like it really does lean you out. You can see it's a bit windy or something because there's sort of trees on the road. It was all a bit weird to be honest. I wasn't sure what was going on. 
you can see now we, the pace has started to just ease out a little bit only down to about 150 watts um, it's pretty pretty casual it's quite nice seeing seeing these world tour riders i think on this road we probably saw more world tour riders than people who overtook us or more pro riders because we saw a couple up the Ben Long Swiss Wellness guys as well, I think, uh, which is quite nice. It's pretty pretty cool riding behind these guys. Just, you know, it's always just nice watching people who are, are faster than you or better than you, like these pro riders here, and just watching, like, what they do, um, how they are on the bike. Uh, and that Amazon is quite big. I guess she's a bit of a sprinter, so she's a lot bigger than some of the other people who are on this ride who will be more like climbers or just general, like, roulette sort of type riders. And you can see everyone's pretty confident on the bike, everyone's got good out and saddle technique, etc. Uh, which is nice. So yeah, so yeah, we're coming towards the end of the video. I think at the uh, the last hairpin is where I, I say goodbye and I need to do my effort. Uh, but it was good good riding with different people, good riding with them. Uh, so yeah, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you step outside the usual